And hello everybody, Do Right Tech Tips here today, and today we are going to be looking at one of Apple's most top-selling products of the century, the Apple AirPods Pros. Now, the Apple AirPods Pros have been released from uh, about a month and a half now, and they're still an amazing product. Of course they would be, but um, I just want to tell you guys one of the things I found while using them, the benefits, the things that aren't the best about them, and the overall thing thing thinking about it and where you can buy them today especially because where i am especially uh, they are completely sold out you cannot find them anywhere so i'll give you some tips and tricks on how to find those as well in stock in case you're wanting to do some after the holidays shopping all right so to start it off i love these airpods with them they came in uh, transparency mode, as well as the noise cancellation, the active noise cancellation, which is really a nice feature. You get five hours of battery life on these boys, and you get 4.5 hours of battery life with the ANC activated. So inside, when we open them up, we get the AirPods, as usual. I do have a nice case on it. I'll link the in the description. It's just a silicon case. It's nothing that special. Uh, but it does protect it from getting scratches and getting that nice white finish um, messed up. So that is why it looks black. No, I didn't get it painted or anything special. It's just a simple seven buck case from Amazon. So coming over here, let me bring my iPhone. I really just love it how easy it is. And this is just one of the demonstrations on how easy it is to hook them up. You really just flip it over. And as soon as your iPhone senses it, it will bring it up like... Come on. Now it's not doing it. Oh well. I filmed this and just tried to do it before. But as you can see, when you take an AirPod out, put it in your ear, it will sense it. You can close the lid. And now, our AirPods are not connected. Well, that's anticlimactic, isn't it? So let's uh, try that one again. Close it, open it. There we go, okay. <laughs> that, trust me guys, 99% of the time, this does work. Um, which, that was just a weird fluke. But I do have some of those issues on my Mac, uh, as we'll get into that later with the pairing issues. Um, I did end up having to reset these because they were not connecting on my Mac. Um, in fact, I spoke to the technician and they even said that we've done everything. And they didn't recommend even resetting the AirPods. They said that won't fix it. They didn't even suggest that it actually at all. Um, I read that in an article. All they said was, oh, go, f go ahead and factory reset it. That should fix the problem. Because uh, all of the things that we've tried, resetting the, uh, the other stuff, the RAM and everything, um, and that little chip on there, I can't remember, um, what it's called, but the Apple chip in there that stores the memory. Um, resetting all those two things, the SMC and all that, uh, didn't do anything. So they're just like, okay, sure, let's reset and factory reset this. And I'm just like, hold on, hold your horses there. Um, that is not what we're doing here. I've already had it reset because of uh, issues with the fans, which turned out that they just need to be replaced. So I'm not resetting it again. So, that ended that, I just looked it up and reset these, and it fixed it from there. That's about all the problem I had. One of the aesthetic things that have bothered some people recently is the fact that this jiggles. Well, if I can focus this, there we go. This actually jiggles here. So, uh, opening it, it doesn't jiggle the lid. But if you close it, I don't know if you can hear that, listen makes a little cracking noise both ways. Um, now, for some people it's fine, but for people like they're really, really attention to detail. Uh, and even myself, I would expect something that's $250 from Apple to really be perfected, you know, and not have that type of issues. But enough about that, enough about that. Um, good things about it. I love the fact that you can instantly just put it on a wireless charging pad and it charges. That's a really nice feature and it just comes default when you buy the AirPods Pro as a part of the Pro lineup. Um, another thing being that 
um, you can instantly connect them to other Apple devices. Now I have had issues with that along the way, but still it's pretty minor the issues that I've been having. Is it worth $250 for? Maybe, maybe not. I'd say if it was $200, then that's a better asking point, but $250 is a little bit out of range. I don't know. What do you think, guys? Leave your comment, leave your idea in the comments below. But I did pay for them $250, and that is what we got them for. Now, it's crazy because some of these things were going for $329, $350 off of eBay for shipping that would get them before um, the holidays, which is absolutely insane. That's $100 over MSRP, guys. And people were buying them, believe it or not, because no one could find these. Amazon's out of them, Apple's out of them, even Apple's out of them, guys. For since January 23rd is the estimated delivery date on one of these things, which is insane. This thing, this little gadget here, is about to blow Apple's widest selection of um, product lines that they've sold out of the water. Um, I haven't received the numbers on how much they've sold, but they have sold quite a few, uh, even outmatching um, or coming close to their iPods that they've sold, which is absolutely insane. Now, uh, back to the thing where I got these from. Believe it or not, I ordered these on Monday, the Monday right before Christmas, and I got them on um Tuesday. I overnighted it and I got them on Tuesday. Now you may be seeing, what? How is that even possible? Believe it or not, if you read, you figure out your connections. And here's just a hint in case you guys are still wanting to pick up some AirPods, buy them from Verizon, alright? If you want to overnight it, you can. They must have a lot of in stock because I was able to get mine overnighted from uh, California, brought over, and man, it was fast and amazing. And I only paid $250, which is the MSRP price that's rated for these things. So, I am very happy with that. It's a very, very perfect decision, and I'm really satisfied with that. So guys, if you are looking to buy these still, then they are still out in major resellers such as Apple, Amazon, B&H, uh, or Best Buy, just go get them from uh, Verizon. And trust me, I believe, as I'm checking today, they were still in stock. So don't get scammed off of eBay by paying too much, paying over three, four, th paying over three hundred fifty dollars for something that's only two hundred fifty four. So that's all I have to say, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. It's a little bit more brief, but. Um, I just wanted to clarify some things about the AirPods and really how easy they are and how much I love them. Um, they're just very slick and I really like the way that they work, especially the ear tip selection. Uh, speaking of which, I use the small ear tips because apparently my ear holes are really small. I don't know if that's good or bad, but whatever. <laughs> so be it. <laughs> so I'll see you in the next one. For now, be safe and I hope you enjoyed this video. Goodbye!